Hello everyone and welcome to Transport Fever 2. The game has just been released on PlayStation 4 and 5 and the Xbox One and Series X and S consoles. Developers of Urban Games have been kind enough to sponsor this video. You can click the link in the description to check the game out. So let's get straight into it. So we're playing today with a controller on my Xbox. So let's start up a free game and let's go with the following settings with the Seed Famous Wolf of course and let's generate a map. Alright, so we loaded up into the game. Uh, let's see. So I, I have played this game uh, quite a while on uh, PC, but it's been been some time. And we just have a, a huge map here. Anyway, so this game is about um, transporting everything. You have your towns, like Dalton Town here with Newton. Um, you got Sawbridge Word and a lot of towns and they all need some requirements. So this needs tools and oil, I believe, or fire. Uh, but also a lot of towns need obviously bread. Bread is one of the easiest things to start with. So Workington needs bread, Buckingham needs bread, Laystam needs bread, Brosley needs bread. So we need a lot of bread here. To make bread, we do need some wheat, and as we can see here in Brosley, we have the perfect layout set up. So we have our wheat farms here. All right, so if we go to our inspector, we can tap the Brosley farm. We can see they need to, sh they have 200 in production, they can ship 200 max, and Longbridge, Churchy, and Brosley need them. So that's that one, that one, and their one. But because this is close by, we can probably best start here. We can also check, of course, here with the details um, who can provide, which are quite a lot of forms. So let's start with sending some wheat over here and let's make the bread and bring the bread to Brosley and probably to another town close by. We can bring it to Workington, but we do need a bridge or we can cross here, I guess and Buckingham and stuff. So let's just start with uh, bringing wheat from here to here. So basically what we need to do is, I, I did pause the game, so we don't lose any money yet. Um, we have several options. We can basically create roads, trains, and of course boats and airplanes later on, but start in 1900, so they don't have planes yet. So what we can do, we can use the main road, which is already there, or we can create a shortcut. My thought is, because this is perfectly set up, let's start with a road. And let's create a small country road. Get a little bit used to the uh, controllers, it's not too bad. It's... And then we can go from here to here. We can just make it like this, straight. This doesn't look good. And we can just... Go into the band, that's gonna make a bridge. Let's see the settings, change the build mode, build mode to curved. Ah, see, now we have a little curve, this looks a lot better. We can actually save up a little by maybe uh, making smaller pieces, like oh, this is gonna cost like a lot, as you can tell. This is almost a million, like 850. And that's because it's creating a tunnel. So sometimes it's better to just fiddle around a little bit, but also do it maybe in sessions like where it goes like 100 to 77. So from here, you know, just build that. And then just make, just make small parts, you know, to save money. And we can go in there, all right. So we need to fetch those wheat from the farms. To do that, we do need a truck station. Let's see, yeah, we do need a truck. We have truck stations to pick up and we have unload stops to unload. Um, so we're gonna go into a truck stop and you can see which is going wide. So if we're putting it here, it can pick up there, but not the bottom one. Uh, we can probably not, let's rotate it a little bit. We can probably not put it anywhere where all two are rising now. So we do need uh, for all one, but we can, you know, instead of 
putting it straight here where it is wide we can also put it a little bit further away just to save a little on the uh, on the travel cost and we do need the same for this one so let's see we probably want to make it there and let's hook this one up as well so we do have like a lot of wheat coming in ah man that's some heavy shit, man. All right, so that will remove a field. That's not the best. We probably want to put it here. There we go. All right, then we do need a... Normally you can build a truck unload stop and we could theoretically build it here. What just happened so this is the problem with oh yeah like this okay so if we put it here they can unload but we do have to take an account we need do need to take the bread as well to brosley so we're better off with placing a truck stop here as well but we can do precision mode how's precision mode working oh then it's rotating very slowly okay let's rotate quicker all right so Let's just go straight across. Let's zoom in a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. There you go. Then we're gonna need a road depot for our vehicles. We do need to buy them, of course. We can put it here, which is probably a good spot so they don't need to travel a lot. We can, of course, build m more. The game is a little bit, seems a little bit sensitive on the controls, but I'm sure you can change uh, those settings. So those annoying tips should not come anymore. I uh, just disabled it quickly off camera. Uh, anyways, uh, let's go into our depot, which should be with A, yep. And we can buy a vehicle. And we have all kinds of vehicles. We do need to take account in the cargo type on the right side, so they can only do people, they can do all cargo and they can not transport bread nope so we need an all cargo and we do have we can also filter on it i think yeah filter we can basically say we want cargo types only all right so this one we can so we have 80 20 20 and 25 a diesel uh they will cost a lot more but they will go a little bit faster they can hold up five they can hold a five and four. So we're probably going with a, yeah, let's go with a diesel. Uh, it is a bit more expensive, but they will move a little bit better. So let's buy one, two, three, four. Love the sounds. Uh, five, shall we do five? For now we do have three, let's do six. We bought our six vehicles and now we need to create a line to pick everything up. So let's go into the line manager. Let's press the A button. Let's add a station. Uh, we want to go over from here to... We want to drop it there. Then it can go back. It will go automatically. Um, we can also go into the settings say that it needs to fully load anything with a minimum stop time of 60 so it waits our max sorry let's go max stop time uh, 60 seconds so it will wait for full unless you know 60 seconds are going and then it will go all right that's one line let's create a new line Let's add the stage, next station, this one. Let's bring that up as well. And let's do the same here. Let's wait for full load. Maximum 60 seconds. Now I thought of it, let's change this one. Um, let's actually remove this station. And let's... All right, so this was a mistake. Uh, let's add a station. Let's go from here to here. Let's pick a bread here as well. 
because why not? We're there anyway, and let's deliver it there. So we can basically uh, we can basically say fully load as well. Wait maximum of 60 seconds. So that way we're just putting up more on that lane. All right. So let's go into our vehicles manager. And we're gonna pick this, this, this. For six vehicles, they can uh, go on set line, line one. There you go. And matter of fact, we want vehicle five and six set to a line at two. There you go. All right. Now we can run the game. Let's start it up. So our vehicle shoots spawn. There you go. There are vehicles. The game does look beautiful. Uh, they did probably remaster it as well. Let's see. There's shoot going here. There's already bread stacking up. And these things can go full. So basically when we are looking here, there is like a max they can stack. Um, they can pick up 20. Uh, if you go to configure, we can actually make this larger. That's what she said. <laughs> so what we can do is get a another straight piece. But we can, let's see, we can build a cargo platform extra. We can just make it a little bit larger. And if we really want to have even more cargo, we can also, it's not cheating, but you know, instead of making it larger, we can also build up stuff here so they can pick up even more. So they are going. They look fine. We can even spectate them. Or we should be able to. We can click him. We can even enter the cockpit so we can take a look around. It's basically floating in front of him, but you know, it's going good. Fine. We did it. They are doing probably the same here. Yep, perfect. Um, Seems like this one is, yeah, it's full. See, there's 22 in it, and there's like an I saying next to it that it is full. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna expand this one as well. Uh, let's do that first, and let's add a large building. That will cost uh, quite some, but at least we can. Pick up 150, 170, 210 now. So that won't be full for a while. Uh, we want to do the same here. Let's do this one as well. One, two. Let's add two buildings. And let's do this one as well. Matter of fact, we are gonna pause in the game. Just run on us and let's do a can I fit a big one? Yeah, there we go. Alright, so of course this one is gonna produce bread. I don't know if any reached it already. Let's see. Uh they do take two wheat for one bread, so in a perfect world you want a two to one ratio. So we ha do have a three on one, which is not ideal, but you know, we do have the farm, so why not? Um, let's think about the next part, which is going to be setting up a line from here to here. Uh, we can see who wants the bread part. So if we're going to go into roads, going to go into buildings, we're going to go into the truck unload. And we can see the left part of this town wants bread and the town will grow eventually. So when you do when you make up the demand and you fulfill every demand they want, uh, they will becoming more and more uh, bigger the city can grow all the way here so you might want to change up a little so for now we're just gonna wing this one in here we're gonna go into line managers we're gonna create a new line we're gonna put the line from here to 
here, please. Yep, there you go. And then we're just gonna deal with everything. We'll fully load it up with a max of 60 seconds. We're gonna go into our little building here, Rotipo. Gonna buy vehicles. Gonna look what is taking brats. That's gonna be the same. So let's buy two for now. Yeah, perfect. Let's select them. There you go. And let's put them on a line three. So if you're gonna play this game in a long term, you're probably better off to name the lines a little bit like this is uh, gonna take you weed, so you might want to change the line name to Weed Road or something like that, Weed to the Bread Factory or anything like that, so it's a bit easier to see which line is what. Um, for now, this is just fine, so everything just runs. We can speed it up a little bit. And we will just wait until the first bread has been made and uh, delivered. All right, so our first wheat has been delivered and we can see bread stacking up. It doesn't look like bread, <laughs> but this is uh, apparently bread. The thing goes and we made our first bit of cash. There you go. All right, so I want to thank the devs for sponsoring this video. Go check the game out in the description. Do let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this kind of video and if you want to see more from this game or other games. And don't forget, of course, to smash the like and subscribe button if you want to support the channel. For now, I'll say peace, love and bye guys.